welcome to my channel. My name is Chantal. This is my basic journey. And today, I'm just going to take you with me. We're going to kind of do a day in the life. I'm going to go grocery shopping, vegan grocery haul. And I'm also going to go to Starbucks because I started uploading this video, which is my Oregon State Fair video. But however, I ran out of mobile hotspot. So now I have to go to Starbucks as well. Which conveniently works out because Geico just randomly gave me a $5 Starbucks gift card for signing up for text alerts. So I'm going to go use that and we're going to finish uploading this video and then do a little mini grocery haul. I'm currently doing laundry and I have to get ready and so I'll kind of have a get ready with me moment but it's not that exciting. I don't do much to get ready, honestly. So It's just gonna be kind of a day in the life vlog, mainly a vegan grocery haul. So I'm gonna start getting ready for the day. If you guys didn't know this, I used to be a cosmetologist when I lived in Illinois. I used to wanna be a makeup artist on YouTube. Once I moved to Oregon and I went vegan, my passion changed. Before I moved here, I got rid of, I don't know, I would say like 90% of my makeup whether it was not a vegan product or it tested on animals. So I'm just gonna do my makeup, honestly. It's just eyeshadow and mascara, so it's not that exciting. I have kept quite a few of my brushes. However, I usually only use these three. Today, I'm just going to do this color all over my lid and underneath my eyebrow, in my crease, and then I use my finger to apply this gold. I'm gonna try and do this in the front facing camera so you guys can see. I don't even know, most of you probably aren't interested in this. I don't know, I'm making my dreams come true right now. I've always wanted to be a makeup artist on YouTube. <laughs> and I don't have any of my lighting equipment anymore. I used to have a really really fancy light that I would use for making YouTube videos but when I went through and minimalized everything and I moved into the studio I got rid of it because it wasn't gonna fit and I knew that I wanted to live in a van so I got rid of a lot mostly everything if I didn't think like oh this wouldn't fit in my van I'm not gonna keep it so I no longer have a really cool light which kind of sucks but yeah so as you can see, I just put that light cream color. You can't even tell I'm wearing it, but it makes a nice base that makes it easy to blend in my crease and then just gives a small highlight underneath my brow. Now I'm gonna use this S12 brush to do my crease. I used to do my makeup so dramatic and it used to be all about like trying new things and honestly, when I started doing my makeup again, after I didn't do my makeup, for like two years I just I stick to the same thing now <laughs> and it's very kind of vanilla when it comes to doing makeup but I'm into more of that like natural look nowadays remember to blend y'all keep on blending it's kind of really weird trying to do my makeup in this face thing but that's okay sorry to those of you who come to my channel for van life stuff and you're getting this today. Honestly, I just really wanted to do it just because this was my dream for so long. It's not my dream anymore. And now I kind of am totally against the beauty industry and what it represents. But it's still fun to do your makeup every once in a while. Especially because I'm sick of getting asked, like, are you okay? If I'm not wearing it. <laughs> oh. Nothing's more offensive than telling me my normal face is not looking good. <laughs> but whatever. I don't wear makeup a lot, honestly, but sometimes I just want to do it. Like today, it seriously only takes me like five minutes to do. I used to use a brush for this, but it, I find that using your finger works so much better. Just putting it all over your lid. I feel like a brush doesn't get it on there as well. After I do that, I go back and just kind of blend that in. Nothing too fancy. Then I'm gonna use this tiny little brush in this kind of translucent, shimmery highlight. And I'm only gonna do that right in the crease here. Just a little tiny bit. Mm -mm -mm. You guys can't really tell what that looks like from this camera, but 
that's it. That's all she wrote when it comes to my eyeshadow. And now I'm honestly just gonna put some mascara on, call it a day. I'm gonna go pick up my laundry really quick and then get dressed. And then we're gonna go to Starbucks and go grocery shopping. It's going on the list so we're ready and now I'm just gonna go to Starbucks and finish uploading this video so let's go do that also can we admire how cute it is in the back of my van <laughs> it's really coming together guys <laughs> gonna go grocery shopping it only took me like two hours <laughs> in Starbucks but I ended up writing a blog too so that's cool at least I was more productive than I wanted to be when I first started this channel I wanted its primary focus to be veganism it's a huge part of my life it's what makes me who I am today I was a vegetarian for eight years before I decided to go vegan and I wanted to spread that message. But since I started building out my van, that's kind of what my channel became about. And honestly, I want my channel to be kind of, not interchangeable, but just kind of more than just a single niche. And I was told like, oh, if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, you're gonna have to pick a specific niche and really channel into that specific niche, whatever. How many times can I say fucking niche? It sounds weirder every time I say it. <laughs> I know that a lot of people who are into the van life stuff are probably not going to be more into this vegan stuff. That's kind of why we're doing this today because I'm not actually going to be able to get a normal grocery haul once I am in my van and so we're kind of just doing this. I've already made a grocery haul on a budget. I think it was like under $30. I'll put a link up here. You guys can check that out. It was when I was first starting my YouTube channel and so it's a little cringeworthy but some of you might like it. I don't know. So now I'm gonna go to Fred Meyer. I'm gonna show you what I get. It's not really a normal grocery haul. Plus I have to get a couple things like laundry detergent and toothpaste. And so those things aren't normal groceries and it's not gonna be as much of a budget video. But I am going to show you how easy it is to get vegan items, especially, you know, nowadays. When I first went vegan, which was like over three years ago now, it was so hard to find vegan items, especially when you're on a budget. And I was living in a very small town in Illinois. So all I had was a Walmart. It wasn't as easy and now I'm living in the Pacific Northwest where there is a plethora of vegan items and restaurants. It's a lot different out here. Let's get started with this vegan grocery haul. I'm gonna make my way to Fred Meyer, which is really close to the Starbucks. I just have to go around construction because it's not letting me turn left onto the street that I need to turn left on. So, let's go.
now and I'm gonna tell you my total. Don't be surprised by this. This is not how much I spend every week on groceries. This was more than I normally spend. I also went through and I highlighted on my receipt which items weren't food items and then I subtracted that from my grand total. So my grand total was $94, which might seem like a lot. Honestly, that's more than I like to spend. If you saw my first vegan grocery haul, I spent under $30 and I was trying to spend under $30. So even though my grand total was $94, $27.60 of that was non-food items. So my grand total for only food, if I was only grocery shopping, was $66.40. So it wasn't really that bad <laughs> now that I think about it. It just feels like a lot more just because I spent $94, which is a lot for like one weekly trip to Fred Meyer for me. I really hope you had fun grocery shopping with me and just hanging out with me today. I know this is kind of just like a pointless video and some of you, especially the people who are here for van life stuff, are going to be like, what the hell? <laughs> but <laughs> this is my basic journey, so. With all of the political stuff going on and the Amazon on fire, I just wanted to make a video pointed towards my original point of making this YouTube channel, which was veganism, minimalism, and self-love. Go vegan. Save the animals. Save the environment. I don't want to get too political, but... You could really do a lot just by fixing what you put on your plate. I know I don't want to get too preachy. It's one of the things that like kind of turned me off from the vegan community is how preachy they can be. But I just urge you to do some research. Find out what you're paying for, where your money is going, and go from there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. I just, I get so much positive feedback. I'm just kind of confused because isn't this the internet? So thank you so much for all of you who have been really supporting me and just hear every video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe below if you haven't. If you're interested in more vegan videos, let me know below. With that being said, thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.